Hey, what's going on, Jam Fam? So it's been a little while since I did a news video, and that's mainly just because the devs have been on vacation all through July. Well, they're finally back to work, and uh, there's been a couple announcements over on Twitter. So over the last couple of days, there's been things going on. So I just want to fill you guys in on everything that they talked about, all the news that I saw. So just make sure you're aware of all this stuff. Make sure you put some stuff in your calendars and all that. So let's just jump into it. Let's talk about what's going on. And uh, first thing I want to talk about is going to be Mega Pig. Now, Mega Pig's coming back. We didn't get a Mega Pig in July because there was a a bug with matchmaking, and uh, they had to end up taking it down but then they compensated us by giving us a whole bunch more boxes through that weekend so i think that was very cool um i think that was uh, actually a better reward than mega pig i think mega pig sucks even though boxes suck too at least we got some decent cosmetics out of them so i think that's cool um but the exciting thing is that mega pig is coming back august 30th make sure you're aware of that that's in two weekends not this upcoming weekend uh or the weekend after but i think the weekend after that uh, so I guess that's three weekends. So there's going to be a Mega Pig on August 30th. And the interesting thing about this Mega Pig is that it's actually going to combine both August and September's Mega Pig in one go. Now, I do have a question about whether this is going to be just one set of Mega Pig games, if it's just going to be 18 Mega Pigs and then you get the double rewards, or if you're going to have to do 36 games of Mega Pig and get double rewards. Honestly, in my opinion, if you're asking your players to play 36 games of Mega Pig, I think that's a big ask, especially for someone like me that doesn't like to play one Mega Pig, let alone two in one weekend. So I think that's a big ask and I'm not really going to be a fan of that. But obviously I'm not, I'm going to be greedy and say that if we only have to play the base 18 games and get two games or two mega pigs worth of rewards, I think that's a steal and I will definitely be participating. I'll probably participate either way, but I do think that if you get double rewards for just one set of mega pigs, I think that's a amazing deal. Um, but the interesting thing about this is that they didn't really announce why they just asked why no mega pig in September. And then they said, we'll make an announcement on August 24th in Brawl Talk. So they did announce that Brawl Talk is going to be August 24th. That's nine days from now. Today's the 15th that I'm recording this. So make sure you keep an eye on that. Mega Pig or uh, Brawl Talk is going to be on the 24th. Mega Pig is going to be on the 30th. Now, if I was a betting man, I would say that Mega Pig isn't going to be removed from the game. I wouldn't be shocked if they did remove Mega Pig because it's not a super popular thing, but people do play it just because you need some kind of rewards from the removal of Club League and Mega Pig is the best we got. Although most people aren't really a fan of it. Um, I'm going to bet that they're probably just going to be taking Mega Pig down for another month in lieu of an event. Something like Mega Boxes or something like that. There, there has been like rumors about the SpongeBob event. So maybe there's going to be a SpongeBob event compensation or maybe they're just going to reskin Mega Pig into a SpongeBob theme. I don't know, but I got a feeling it's going to be more of an event rather than Mega Pig being reworked or removed or anything like that. So that's just my take on it. It's probably going to be an event, not going to be a removal of Mega Pig. All right, next up is going to be Supercell Make. Now, if you haven't paid attention, there was a Supercell Make announcement a while back, back like mid-July. July 16th was the day. Uh, they announced that there was going to be a new campaign going, and the interesting thing about this one is there was going to be six brawlers that could participate. So Buster, Carl, Chuck, Grom, Janet, and Sam. I think a lot of that's cool, and they're going to be superhero themed, so I think that is very nice as well. Um, so it has been going for a little while, and the unfortunate thing is that yesterday was the first day you could vote on Supercell Make, but... It ended up crashing. Uh, you could not vote, or there was a bunch of bugs going on with Supercell Make, and uh, they had to take it down for a day. But the good news is, it's back up now. As of today, you can pick any skin you want, and you could just vote on it. I'm just going to click on this random skin right here. I think this is a Sam skin or a Grom skin, something like that. It's Grom, right here. Grom. Congratulations, you got to vote. So you can vote whenever you want. Make sure you get out there, vote, pick a skin. Make sure you show support for the artist that are trying to participate in this. Obviously, don't pick just any random skin like I just did, but find a skin you like and make sure you go vote. Um, anyway, so there was a bug with the Supercell Make campaign. They had to take it down yesterday, but there is good news that did come out of this bug, and that's going to be that they've actually, uh, as we see here from Danny, he announced that there was a bug and they had to take it down, but it did get resolved. They are going to be extending the voting time, and they have actually lowered the threshold because of the issues and now you only need 250 votes to become a finalist i think this is good it does suck that there was bugs and that you know the the site wasn't working or whatever uh but i think this is good compensation because now especially with it being such a big category um you know six brawlers having to meet this requirement i think this is decent compensation because now you have more time to get less votes 
and I think it's uh, good and it's fair. And especially because, like I said, there's six brawlers that you, everyone's got to pay attention to. So naturally, some things that are very, very good, they should be qualified, are going to get missed, especially if you needed that 500 vote threshold. So while uh, it does suck that it wasn't working right away, at least the people who are participating get some type of compensation and hopefully a couple more people qualify that deserve it. So uh, yeah, anyway, like I said, make sure you go to Supercell Make, make sure you find a skin you like, make sure you vote. And uh, yeah, that's it for Supercell Make. And now we're at the biggest news. This just dropped today, and this is actually what inspired me to make this video. And that's going to be the newest event that's going on. It's a big community event, and that's going to be boxes versus drops. As of right now, if you sign into Brawl Stars and you go into your news tab, there's going to be a prompt that asks you to vote for one mega box or six star drops. Pick whatever you want. Um, obviously, some people are going to go star drops. Some people are going to go mega boxes. Personally, I went star drops. Uh, but there is definitely, as from this screenshot, there seems to be a favor towards Mega Boxes. I can understand why people would want Mega Boxes right now, especially if you missed out on like the Bling Rico or the Stellar Shelly skin. You still want to get those cosmetics, so there is definitely reason to get Mega Boxes. Personally, I went with Star Drops because I can't get anything more out of Mega Boxes. I'm getting a thousand Bling and a thousand credits out of Mega Boxes left and right, so Star Drops go a lot further for me personally. But uh, if you need those cosmetics or whatever, then go Mega Boxes. All right, so back to the actual announcement. So basically, the way this is going to work right now, when you sign in, there is a free Mega Box in your shop. Congratulations, you got a free Mega Box. Hopefully, you get something good out of it. Um, and then until August 25th, there's going to be double star drops and double XP every day until that date. So uh, make sure you're getting all your star drops every day. Make sure you're grinding out your, your Brawl Pass and all that. And uh, until the end of the event, they're going to be tracking takedowns in every single game mode, including friendly matches, which is interesting because I don't think we normally include friendly matches in this, but it is nice that they're doing it now. And eventually the community is going to be prompted to vote on mega boxes or star drops. And uh, just like this, just like this right here, you're going to be prompted every whenever we hit the milestones to vote on whether you want mega boxes or star drops for the next reward. They break it down right here. The milestones, 2 billion takedowns. You're going to be able to vote on one or six. 8 billion takedowns, you're going to be able to vote on 2 mega boxes or 12 star drops, and then finally, it's going to be 16 billion takedowns, 7 mega boxes, or 42 star drops. Personally, I think getting all these star drops is way worth it compared to uh, 10 mega boxes, but that's just me. So basically, after we get to these milestones, people are going to vote, and then whatever gets more votes, that's going to be what's available in the shop for everybody. And keep in mind, there's also going to be a giveaway from Brawl Stars themselves to 10 lucky people. Uh, it's going to be either 100 mega boxes or 50 legendary star drops, not just regular star drops, legendary star drops. Um, and 10 people are going to win that, like I said. Uh, all you got to do to participate in this is post a screenshot or a video of you voting on social media. Make sure you use these hashtags, box versus drops and brawl stars. And then you also have to try to convince your followers to do the same thing as you. So in my opinion, I think this is going to be a pretty fun event. I do think that we always get some decent rewards out of this stuff. Uh, like I said, I'm going to be voting for star drops all the way just because I personally can't get anything out of my actual boxes right now. Um, but there is definitely an argument to be voting for mega boxes because, you know, people did miss out on some of the Rico skins. People did miss out on some of the star Ooh. Shelly skins, stuff like that. So there is an argument and you can also get gems, but I don't think that's a very solid argument, honestly. Uh, but there is definitely an argument to be voting for boxes. So there's a little bit of a mixed opinion on whether you should be voting for mega boxes or star drops online. I just want to highlight a couple of them here. Uh, Ark here, he voted for star drops, says mega boxes are so bad this time around. Please vote star drops. Um, so that's what he did. Also, he's trying to participate in the event, obviously. Uh, Canal77, also participating in the event, says that he'll do unthinkable things if you don't vote for star drops. So he voted for star drops. And then this person here, um, I believe the reason why I booked this is because they said they wanted to get gems out of boxes. And like I said, I think that chasing gems out of boxes is a bit of a fool's errand. I don't think you're going to get very many gems out of them. I did get lucky and get 100 gems a couple of times, but I don't think most people are going to get a lot of gems out of them. Uh, mainly, you should be going for boxes if you need those Rico skins or if you need Stellar Shelly or any of those like classic cosmetics that aren't guaranteed to come back. But that's going to do it for this one. Let me know what you think about all this stuff. Let me know what you think about the double mega pick. Let me know what you think about the Supercell Make campaign. Let me know if you're excited about that. Let me know if you voted already. And uh, let me know what you think about the boxes versus star drop event. Anyway, like I said, that's going to do it today. Uh, if you enjoyed my rambling, make sure you leave a like on the video. And if you're new, consider dropping a sub as well. But that's going to do it. I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.